kamusta mga kaibigan? It's A and Mike. What's good, everybody? We are in Manhattan today, New York City. What's up, Manhattan? And we're at a place that I'm very excited for. I've been eyeing this place for a long time, and it's a conveyor belt sushi called Yo Sushi. Yo Sushi. I've never been here before. I don't know anything about it. It's going to give us a little bit of a rundown, and I'm going to be trying everything out, letting That's you guys right. know. They're known for shinshin, and shinshin means fresh. So that's really key to having sushi, especially good sushi, is to make sure it's fresh. So we're going to try a couple things out, and we have someone with us that's going to tell us a little bit more about the place. First and foremost, my name is Jonathan. I'll be taking care of you guys. We are a conveyor belt sushi restaurant. However, not everything is going to be on the conveyor belt. Essentially, this side of the menu, the sashimis, the nigiris, and the sushi rolls is what's going to go on to the conveyor belt. This side of the menu is going to be all the hot food, all made to order. We have izakaya, Japanese street food. We have tempura. We have ramen, chicken bun, a lot of different cold dishes. We have sushi tacos. The seaweed essentially is lightly battered and then fried off, fried off quickly. It doesn't make it heavy. We have poke, we have seared nigiris, and everything is priced by the color next to it on the menu. It also matches the, the color of the plate. All the plates are stackable. The drink menu's on the back. Do you guys want a minute? Yes, yes please. please. Sure. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Absolutely. Here's what's been explained to us by Jonathan. Uh, the food is color-coded based on what you're getting. That's how they kind of price things out. And if you look at the very bottom, you can see the pricing in. I'm really hungry right now and I can't decide, which is always a problem with me. And I'm probably going to just grab a few of these things. I want to try to stay within a limit of something around the ranges of maybe $50. What do you you kind of make your own price as you're yeah. going based on what you're picking. So keep that in mind if you guys are trying this out. Exactly. I want to try some hot food as well, as well as getting some stuff from the, the conveyor belt because I want to try that sushi taco. All right, let's get started. Let's get one salmon, Nori. Sure. And let's do a salmon kimchi, kimchi salmon bao. Bao? Yeah. Sure. I'm so indecisive sometimes with things like this that I probably want something that's probably going to be all the way over there and I got to wait for it to come back and then somebody already takes it. Salad. Awesome. I got this one. So far, so good. My first try of the kelp salad. Really good. What I got? Let's check it out. I think that's kelp inside it too. I feel like I'm too excited to even just to realize we're missing some of the essentials. Let's give it a shot. Tell me. Oh, it's not good. Thank you. Guys, look at this. How beautiful this taco is. Yay, thank you. Nice. See, this is what I mean about going a little crazy, right? And ordering. This the only thing, if you're experienced with having sushi, is that sushi is a little bit cooler. It kind of gives you an idea that it's very fresh, that it was just, just made. I feel like it's a little bit room temperature, but still very good. I like the jalapeno touch of that because it gives it a nice kick. Really? I like that. She's the one that's not a big spicy person. I'm not person. a big spicy person, and I like that kick. I'll take a big bite. I'm a little iffy to this bow, only because usually with pork or chicken, or deep fried chicken. This one's with salmon. Pork belly, right? That we usually yeah, it's have. usually pork belly. That gives it a little bit of flavor and also a little bit of fat. This one is straight, you know, salmon. So mm. Mm. it's a yes. Mm -hmm. mm. There's Japanese mayo in there, which I love. Onions. The salmon is cooked perfectly. I know it's gonna be messy though. You know that. Right? I think you gotta kind of one bite I'm it. Kind of thing. One bite it. Should I put some wasabi in it? I'm gonna go wasabi. I I Always go wasabi. The taco itself, the taco shell, is nori. So that's gonna be awesome. Mmm, that's good. The fish feels very fresh. The rice is soft as it should be, not hard. There's a huge appeal here if you're American, you like tacos, and it works. I can see where that goes. All right, guys, we've ordered one more thing. This is called takoyaki. It is Osaka's number one dish. It's octopus, it's battered, it's drizzled in mayo. There's bonita flakes on top of it, and it looks so scrumptious. All right, so I'm gonna take a first bite. I think this is pretty much like a one-biter. Yeah. Uh, I hope I don't drop it. How was that? It's hot. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, what's the shaving on here? I'm sorry. There's a shaving on here. It has a uh, smoky taste. It's gonna give mine a shot here. One big bite. Yeah. The first bite is a crunch, and then inside is a little more softer, almost like a, a creamy texture inside, and then you get a bite of the octopus. Yeah. And then you have the smoky flavor. At the park, 
this probably was one of my favorite one here today. That's good. Thank you. Oh no, there's more. This is the last one. I ordered some tofu katsu because you guys know I love tofu. I have no idea what our bill is. Cheers. Cheers, guys. That was good. That tastes really good. Mm-hmm. Awesome. The fish, uh, right now we're sourcing our fish from Scotland. Uh -huh. All of our fish is flash frozen, and what that means is that as soon as it's caught, it's immediately frozen on the boat. And that's how you, we capture the freshness of the fish. As you can see, it's really juicy. The salmon has the really nice marbling. Yeah. It's all really delicious, melts in your mouth. That's what, how I felt when I had the nori taco. Yes. The salmon was delicious. Okay. I really like the, uh, is it squid or? Octopus. Octopus. Takoyaki. That Takoyaki is so, so good. Yeah. That was. It's one of my favorites. Oh too. my god. Everything we had is very good. Awesome. So how long have you guys been open? Since March. We come back in mid-November and probably finalize the menu, take a few things off, add a... That's excellent. Yeah. Uh, one thing that shouldn't change is the service and you guys. And thank awesome. you, man. You did really amazing thank work you. too. I'll be here in November and I hope I can serve you guys. Yes, we will Of course. Be here. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. What's the damage, right? <laughs> What's the damage? You can get lost in ordering. That's one thing I can say here. By the time we stack up all these plates, like six, seven, ten dollars or whatever, who knows? I don't know. What's Let's your guess? What what's your guess? What's your guess? Don't, don't tell us yet. I'm guessing fifty-three dollars. What about you? Sixty. No way. Thirty-eight sixty-five. Holy what? shit! What? What? Even better. Let's order more. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite? That squid ball. I mean, it had different textures. It was octopus. I would say squid and octopus mix them up. Squid. Multiple textures. They had flakes at the top. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of care. You can tell that that was taken when they were making that one. Yep. There's a big difference between the actual menu, what you pick, to what's on the conveyor belt. That's yeah. the main thing, That's the main focus here. Thing. I would recommend the place. I liked it, but I would order off the menu. Yeah. And while you're waiting for your order to arrive, you can maybe grab like two things, or like Which an appetizer yeah. off the conveyor belt. To me, it feels more of like the hook of the place, but they do make great food. I, I did enjoy the food. Another thing I have to mention, the minute we walked in, very inviting. The, the uh, general manager already approached us, and then Jonathan, very friendly, very inviting also. For that alone, those two things that happened from the very beginning, I will come back. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it that thumbs up. Thumbs up, smash that thumbs up. You heard me? <laughs> Drop a comment down below. Down below. And let me know if you've ever been to this place, Yo Sushi. Or if you've ever been to a conveyor belt sushi at all. First time for me. Yeah. As always, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Salam. Bye. <laughs> Guys, look what we got. Ice cream mochi. <laughs> the general manager, Ben, told us that this is something we have to try. You know the thing with mochi? I love the texture of it, how chewy it is. But this one is an ice cream mochi. Is that matcha? That's my favorite. That's matcha. Guys. Mm. Solid. Thank you, Yo Sushi, for making my belly full. <laughs> Yo, Sushi. Yo, Sushi.